So we started off inside foot forward. We got into a connection point. We're facing reverse line of dance. We worked on these first half pivots. We're starting off with three pivot steps and a walking step. We're gonna do quick, quick, slow. We're gonna break this down real slow. So I'm not moving, I'm not scissoring my legs. I'm turning on the balls of my feet. We're gonna go quick and stop. Quick and stop. Full weight change. Slow. And as we walk slower, we're gonna reconnect for slow. So you can actually practice this on your own. Just getting used to the timing and getting used to not doing this. Watch my feet, I'm not doing this. I'm not moving my feet first, I'm actually moving my body. I'm taking my outside arm and I'm bringing it into this hand here. As we're coming in, we're gonna break it down a little slow again. We're gonna go quick and stop, quick and stop, walk out slow and slow. Cool? What that looks like all together, and this is the drill we did at first, ready, and quick, quick, slow, connect. We did that turning to the inside as well, facing your direction. Right now I'm still facing line of dance. I did a pivot step, pivot step, pivot step, and connect. Generally you do three of these in a row, connect and jump out of it. These are called mirror turns. The lead does not have to do this. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. What I just did right there, I didn't over torque Lily, but I gave her a little bit more information. If you notice her arm didn't get yanked around. So slow, quick, quick, slow, connect, quick, quick, slow, connect. From here, I'm gonna walk back together. My partner's gonna do a free spin, same thing. Quick, quick, slow, and slow. So the footwork for this amalgamation leading up to this, I'm gonna do it in this direction. Line advances towards the street here. <clears throat> I'm gonna stop at the end of every slow. Quick, quick, slow, and set. I'm not in prominent position yet. My shoulders are still pillow, my partners, I step in between. I'm gonna come across quick, quick, slow, slow, and that'll be a prep step. Quick, quick, compression, tension. That's what's gonna create this first free spin, or inside turn, I'm gonna remain connected. Side to gather, side and back. Now it's going to be a free spin. I'm going to let go of my partner. I'm going to do side together, side. Ready? And side together, side. Step forward. I could do any number of these. Sometimes we do two for class. We only finish with the one. Quick, quick, slow, connect. I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to do the uh, back together, step forward. Quick, slow, and slow. From here, if I want to get out of it, I'm going to give my partner a turn. Same thing she's been doing. The connection's the same. I'm putting force on her arm here. I'm gonna step back, quick, together, forward, forward. I don't connect with this hand because I might come up with another turn from that compression. Cool? So, one more time. It's really important also that I look where I'm going. Line of dance is in that direction. I'm gonna try and look in that direction as much as I can. So when I'm doing these quick, quick, slow, slows, these pivot turns, ready? And quick, Quick, slow, walk forward. Quick, quick, slow, walk back. I look in this direction because I've got no choice. I can't look over my head when I'm taking a full step backwards. That's basically spotting. Also, <clears throat> if we're doing constant left and right turns all the time, left and right and left and right, I will not get dizzy. If I'm continuously doing in one direction continuously, then I will get busy. Cool. Thank you all very much. Get ready for tango.